I once again uh, welcome you. Lecture series are for electric power quality. So today is day, uh, day 24. Uh, nothing but uh, already 23 classes are completed. Now we are entering to the 24th day. The date is uh, 26th, 9th, 2020. So, so we are in uh, fourth chapter, uh, nothing but fourth unit. So this fourth unit uh, is also so in the last days is nothing but one or two uh, topics are left uh, remaining topics are already completed so now you can see the uh, today's class devices for controlling harmonic distortions in the last class also uh, we are already uh, in the topic uh, devices for uh, controlling harmonic distortions so, but uh, you can see we are left with some concept in uh, state class so we are trying to complete the, uh, those uh, topics in today's class okay so now what are some devices uh, to control these uh, regulations we have there some different types of devices are there some series devices parallel devices and so so many different types of devices are there. so what are those devices some uh, some inline transformers zigzag transformers uh, zigzag transformers zigzag transformers so inline transformers, inline transformers, uh, then the next category is uh, shunt, uh, passive, or passive filters. We have different types of shunt, okay, series, then combination of shunt and series. So combination of uh, shunt plus series. Then uh, we have the C type. So today we are going to discuss this C type. Then uh, we have the then uh, it is passive. Then we have also the active. What are the passive elements here? So RLCs. We can we can uh, design the devices. This uh, uh, harmonic distortion controlling harmonic distortion devices by using these devices RLCs. So that's why we can call it as a passive filter equipments. So next one is active. What are the active elements here? So a power electronic based elements. Here, active elements means here a power electronic based elements is nothing but the thyristors, IGBTs, and SCS and all other things. Okay. So once again, you can see uh, in the last class. So we are uh, now see that uh, once again I shared this screen. Now see this uh, uh, yesterday class. Now see this uh, yesterday we are uh, completed all these things. Yes, yes, see this yesterday class. So so unfortunately in our syllabus, uh, these two uh, topic uh, uh, like these two are not included. Okay, so only we have the passive filter as well as the active filters. So in the last class, we are already completed the uh, shutter passive filters, series passive filters, and uh, low pass uh, broadband filters. This is nothing but it. this is the combination of series and shunt. That's what passive filters means. They can design the filters by using resistance, inductance, and capacitance. So these active filters are designed by using the power electronic based power electronic based power electronic based. Okay. So this uh, shunt filters uh, has uh, more advantages when compared to the series filters, but uh, series pass filters. But uh, even though shunt filters, we have some drawbacks. What are the drawback here? What are the drawback of the shunt filters? You have to, you have to control the seventh order harmonic. So you want to install the fifth order harmonic also, harmonic filters also, or third or third order harmonic filters also. So our aim is to minimize this seventh harmonic, seventh order harmonic. But you require this third order as well as fifth order also. So before that uh, order of the harmonics also you can require. So uh, then what is the advantage of uh, this passive filter? A, a one filter is sufficient to filter 
all the orders of armor armor but the same time all you can use this word all the same time it can also eliminate the fundamental armor not but fundamental frequencies this is the drawback of this uh, uh, series passive Okay, so one equipment is sufficient to filter all the order of the armaments that may be a second order, third order, or whatever. Up to the third order. So preferably you can consider for series uh, third order. Okay, so uh, so one filter is sufficient. It can filter filters the uh, higher order armaments also. But what is the drawback? So so it can filter the harmonic component of the currents at the same time it can also filter the so fundamental frequency harmonic component uh, uh, fundamental frequency currents this is the drive so then what is the drawback of the shunt whenever you whenever you are going to reduce the or eliminate the seventh order harmonic so you require for uh, for this purpose one one filter and this is not sufficient to uh, eliminate all so fifth order harmonic or third order so this purpose you can use again one filter this purpose again you can use one filter for suppose in our you can assume in our uh, system sound uh, it produces the seventh order harmonic whenever you want to eliminate the seventh order harmonic you require fifth order filter as well as uh, third order filter also so three filters are uh, required to eliminate this harmonics but in case of series a one filter is sufficient to filter the uh, all the order of the harmonics so that is the advantages at the same that is also the drawback what is the drawback it can also uh, eliminate the fundamental frequency harmonics nothing but fundamental frequency currents okay now see this we can uh, uh, by using the uh, advantages of these two uh, shunt filters as well as series filters we can uh, 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 I mean, designing on another type of the filter uh, that we can call as a low pass broadband filters. Okay, so this is also we are already discussed in the last class. Now, how we are going to discuss the C, uh, C, C filters, C type of the filters as well as active ones. Once again, you can, uh, okay, once again, see this last class. So, this is the single tune filters, this is the filter. This is LC filter. Again, uh, this is uh, RC filter. Uh, this is also, uh, uh, RLC filter. Uh, this is also the RLC filter. RLC filter. The uh, notchings are there. Notching uh, capacitors are there. You can see this. Or suppose in the shunt filters, shunt passive filters, when you are going to eliminate this uh, third order, it also required the second order as well as start filters also this so this you can observe this this all the devices filters are designed by using the passive elements nothing but rlc's so that's why you can call it as a passive filters so this is the single tune filter first order filter uh, uh, the single line diagram is like this this is the second order filter i pass filters so this is third order i pass filters so this is the shunt type so shunt type Okay, so what is the advantage of shunt type? So most filters are uh, single tune filters, and like this, single tune filters, most of them. So there is some drawback is also there. So this is the some example of the uh, filters, nothing but the shunt filters. This is the inductor L. These are the capacitors. These are the capacitor banks. These are the fuses. fuses. So this type of uh, uh, filter, LC filter, okay, uh, is nothing but, uh, is used for the low uh, voltage applications because this is a air cool, dry type, dry type, dry type, air cool, natural cool or natural cool water. So beyond that, we are using these uh, limits. What, what, what will happen? There is a huge amount of heat is generated. So that's why you can uh, reduce the, uh, the heat. You can, it can be uh, placed at the open tank. So nothing but you can. Uh, so this inductor is a dry type inductor. So you can place it in the outer side. So natural air will cool this one. 
so these are the fuses you know that way so for th for three phase system uh, three individual uh, type of the filters are connected so for suppose uh, this is three phases r uh, y and b so three individual filters so this is the filter one this is the filter two this is the filter three different filters are connected for each phase why that reason because you don't know which phase is getting the uh, power quality issues or harmonics so on that phase only it can uh, i mean the device uh, may be operated so this is the this is also the same uh, shunt passive filter but uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, oil filled uh, type of uh, oil cool type the type of the filters so this is uh, usually used for the industrial applications so nothing but uh, high voltage rating so these are the some shunt active filters diagrams and all other things so so you can see this capacitor bank you can simply add this some inductor can convert into the some shunt active filters so so these these, these things you are already so now see this what is the drawback of this one can you see this drawback when you are going to install the seventh order harmonic it usually requires the fifth order harmonic also nothing but so this uh, this is the one type of the filter and this is the second type so two filters are required so that is the main drawback thing uh, of this uh, shunt. So but then what is the advantage of this filter, shunt filter? So it can uh, so uh, it can produce the resonance but at less level, a small level. So it will not damage the some transformers and all other things. But series filters is also produces some resonance. Now so this uh, see this uh, series passive filters. You can see this. Series passive filters. So, what is the advantage of this one? So, then single uh, filter is sufficient to uh, block the uh, third or harmonics also. Third or harmonics. It is very advantageous. It's very advantageous. The cost, the size, the maintenance, all other things. Economically, this is better. Series filters. But what is the main drawback? It, you know, it can limit the. Okay. So, not only the harmonic current it can also limit the fundamental frequencies also so that is the drawback of this uh, series filters series filters. so now we can utilize the advantages of both series type as well as shunt type so we can uh, we can uh, come up with the some uh, another uh, type of the filter uh, we can call it as low pass broadband filters okay now see this diagram so low pass broadband filter so series application as well as the parallel so it has the advantage of uh, series and it has the advantage of the okay uh, that uh, shunt devices so so this uh, one filter is sufficient to minimize this uh, order of the hours. okay so this is the advantage this is the advantage of the series filters one filter is sufficient okay so then what is the advantage of the shunt here so it can reduce the resonance uh, that is produced by this capacitors those are the advantages of by using this low pass uh, broadband filter so now uh, now see this where you can uh, place this uh, uh, low pass filter now see this uh, what is regulation purpose or how we can uh, improve the harmonic purpose where you can place as i said that depends on the so point of common coming you know that what is point of common you can, you can identify which feeder feeder one feeder two feeder three feeder four feeder five which feeder will get the uh, more harmonics so on that nearby uh, feeder you will uh, installing this uh, type of the equipment so in the second side of the equipment are the entire feeders all the feeders will get the problems on that time we'll uh, add the this uh, uh, this uh, this side so that depends on the way that uh, uh, problems are occur so which feeder will get the more uh, harmonic problems so which feeder, which feeder will injecting more harmonics into the system according to that one you can identify the point of common coupling so then that point of common coupling we are uh, connecting the stereos 
okay so uh, you can already see this one now we can uh, go for this uh, c uh, filters okay so i can just a minute uh, so you can now see this c type of the filters okay so what is this uh, c type of the filters okay you see this uh, c type filters okay put a glass you can uh, okay so uh, you can see this so this uh, c type filter so this c type what is this so the, the c type filter is also passive passive <coughs> passive filter so at the moment it is going to design the uh, RLCs only. Okay. Now see this how this C type filter. So what is the C type filters? So this is uh, one of the alternative for the uh, low low pass broadband. So nothing but it is also the uh, combination of series as well as uh, shunt devices. Okay. So now we can. Uh, see this uh, c type of the filter so this, uh, this you can observe this one uh, this is the sc type of the filter okay okay uh, what uh, this uh, this uh, c type of the filter is it? so what is uh, now you can see this what is lm what is ca what is cm so you can you can remember this one uh, this uh, this is very important uh, capacitor nothing but cm you can see this what is cm what is ca what is r what is LM? Or you know that what is the, this is the resistance? Okay, netness and capacitor. You can you can see this simply of RNC filter. But uh, then, but what is the advantage of C? We can see in the later slides. So you can see what is the advantage of the CM. So then, how to uh, can calculate the all other values? So to configure this one, C filter and uh, C, uh, C type of the filter. So there is a one, uh, the, you can observe this graph, there is a one comparison graph in between the C filter as well as second order filter. So these thick lines, this line, this thick line will indicate the, okay, you can observe this, this indicate the, so a C type filter waveform. So how it can be minimized the harmonics. So this data lines, you can observe this data lines, very small data lines are there, you can, uh, see carefully in the graph you can see observe this data line so observe this data lines i can draw here you can observe this data lines you can see this data lines see this data lines almost all uh, uh, they are collided to each other almost all. so what is the advantage so so this is the c type of the filter this is the Second, uh, second order high pass filter. You see the second order, what is the high pass filter? You already seen that one, RLC filter. So second order filter simply. This is RLC filter. Second order filter. But uh, we can add the, but, but this type of C type of the filter, we can additionally, you can add the another capacitor. You see this, another capacitor. You can add the capacitor, another capacitor. Uh, this we can uh, see this we can get as another filter. this is this capacitor can additionally add so because of adding this one you can see this uh, it is used for the uh, wide range of steady state uh, time varying harmonics and intra harmonics also intra harmonics so that is generated by the uh, electronic converters index in furnaces cyclo inverters and cyclo converters and that and interharmonics also what are the interharmonics so uh, the, uh, uh, so for suppose the frequency range is 50 hz so above that 50 is nothing but 60 hz or uh, 65 hz like that in between the order so nothing but h is equal to 1 2 3 and so on this is the order of the harmonics. so is nothing but h is equal to 1 into 50 hz so 2 into 50 hz so 3 into 50 hz and so on this is the order so this is the fundamental this is the fundamental so all other uh, things you can call it as the harmonics 
order of the harmonics, second order harmonics, as well as third order harmonics. Okay, so what is the interharmonics in between this one? Between the, so what is the first order 50 hedges? What is second order 100 hedges? Uh, 100 hedges. So in between the 50 to 100, so we get the first of all 75 hedges. That is the interharmonics. So this this C type of the filter is used for are uh, used to attenuate this uh, interharmonics that is generated by the induction uh, furnaces as well as cycloconverters as well as uh, uh, this electronic converters. So uh, so this is very much identical. See this 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 second order this uh, C type filter. See this uh, see this this is second order second order filter. What is the difference? Only you can add this some capacity addition capacity. Only difference. So this is very much uh, similar to the second order filter. The only difference is the you can add the some additional filter. So to uh, so to uh, nothing but to attenuate the some different levels of the frequencies, you can add these filters. So what is the uh, you can see this point. So what is the difference between this? Uh, uh, this capacitor as well as uh, this, uh, so second order type of the capacitor as well as additional CN capacitor. I can see this uh, some uh, distinct uh, difference between these two. So a C filter passes an auxiliary capacitor CA in series with an inductor LM. Okay. Now see this uh, auxiliary capacitor CA. So uh, the size uh, uh, that may be of uh, you can see this uh, see this. So the auxiliary capacitor CA is uh, sized in such a way that nothing but that is designed in such a way that so nothing but the size is uh, depends upon the capacitive reactance cancel out LM at the fundamental frequency. The size is nothing but the rating. The rating is depends upon the, the rating nothing but this rating. Rating of this capacitor. Now see this capacitor. This depends. Now we have some another topic is also there. How to design this uh, uh, parameters is nothing but this uh, values how much resistance value are going to connect here how much uh, inductance value are taking how much capacity value you are taking in this one there are uh, specific formulas are there so i hope uh, next class we are going to discuss that one also a uh, very important thing a uh, designing one how to design these filters a study case we are considering a study case nothing but we are assuming some uh, uh, some distribution system so on the distribution system we are going to assume this so how to uh, design a filter with calculations with formulas we are going to see in the next class maybe preferable to the, if time is permits we are going to complete the filter otherwise you can go for the uh, tomorrow class okay now see this uh, ca so so this is the uh, so the size of this uh, uh, capacitor value is uh, it depends upon this element. So this is the one drawback. So uh, so that's why you can uh, so because of this one for this reason the loss associated with the resistance is nothing but this one is practically eliminated, allowing uh, C filter to uh, tune to low frequencies. So we are not at all attenuating nothing but tuning nothing but see this point. We are not at all attenuating till you are just uh, uh, seeing that one. So second order filter only. So this CM one, you can see this advantage. You can see, you can you can observe this graph. You can observe this graph. You can see this, the characteristics. Okay, the impedance frequency resonance, the characteristics. Okay, the impedance uh, and as well as the voltage characteristic. You can see this uh, C type filter as well as second order second order filter is uh, much more similar. Almost all close. The only difference is a yeah, CM. Remember the same that you can attenuate like a tuning that values to eliminate the different orders of the frequencies. So you can see this. So you can draw this uh, filter this into the single line diagram to calculate the values. Now see this. Now see this. See this filter. You can uh, so equivalent circuit for driving C, C type filter. You can uh, you can add this. Um, so this is the load, non-linear load or uh, uh, harmonic load. Harmonic load, harmonic loads. So you can inject some currents, harmonic currents, IH, harmonic currents to the system. So this is the filter. So this is the PCC. This is the PCC. 
So this is the filter, C type filter. This is the C type. This is the C type filter. So this is the inductance, is nothing but you know that you see this. So while designing the C type filter, now see this designing the C type filter. So it is necessary to specify ISF. So what is the current in uh, so before the uh, harmonic as well as uh, uh, I mean after the harmonic current as well as before the uh, I mean device current HD ISF. So the maximum harmonic current okay that you can allow it into the HD. So so what is the ISF is nothing but the maximum harmonic current allowed to flow into the uh, system harmonic system. So the tuned harmonic frequency you can, you can see this how to calculate this R value. So LM value, so access value, how to calculate this is by using this form. So R is equal to RF in HD is nothing but the harmonics. Remember harmonics uh, value. So plus XCM by, so inactive reactants are this one. So inactive capacitance of XCM by, so that harmonic order by snow series. So uh, this is the resistance value. Okay, that we are uh, calculated under this uh, frequency, the harmonic frequency range. So this is the uh, uh, this is the capacitance value, inductive capacitance value by so the harmonic order. So this is we know that. So XLM is equal to XCA, nothing but in the under resonance conditions you can see this form. We are using this form. So that's uh, on that one you can calculate this RF. What is RF? RF is nothing but you can see this. HT into excess by square root of 1 by 1 SF into HT minus 1. You can you know that what is this currents and all other things. So what is excess here? Excess is short circuit reactance at fundamental frequency. XLM is the reactance of uh, this one LM at fundamental frequency. XCA is the so reactance of CA at fundamental frequency. Remember these are the fundamental frequency. Okay, this RF I mistaken that RF is also resistance at uh, fundamental frequency. Resistance at the fundamental frequency. Fundamental is nothing but F is equal to the 50 Hz frequency. Fundamental frequency. Frequency. By this way, you can calculate this one. You can remember this formula. So by using this, uh, they are given this some uh, problems also. So to calculate this uh, uh, resistance values as well as CM values, uh, so all other values, excess values are uh, some. So they give them some information and uh, you can find out the uh, remaining units. They can ask the problems are like this. Now see this uh, some problem, a practical problem. So you know, let us see the one problem here. So what is the what is the problem here? So let us consider the uh, C type filter, C filter. So you can apply the C, C filter at the 13.8 uh, kV bus. So for suppose you can observe this one. So this uh, C type filter, what is the range of this one? What is the range of this one? 13.8 kV system. For suppose you can assume this one. So now the filter is designed. How to design this filter? We are going to discuss and later. So uh, that, that can be delivered 5 ampere at fundamental frequency. So so uh, so now see this uh, XCM is they can give in the so uh, this value. Inactive uh, capacit capacitance of this value, so is nothing but the 38.1 here. They can give it, they can give it. So, how this values you remember how this values we are going to discuss now. See this so 13.8 volt square by 5. So, this is 13.8. See this value divided by 5, uh, divided by 5. So, you are going to discuss. So, I am giving the uh, and then information of how this uh, five is calculated. What are the things? So this is that you want to attenuate the uh, percentage. So so seventy percent. And now see this. You are attenuate this uh, C type of C type of the filter. Or it can eliminate the filter, uh, eliminate the harmonics up to the thirty percent. Nothing but seventy percent. So what is the remaining here? A thirty percent uh, uh, harmonics are there. Okay, thirty percent. So now see this XCM value very simple. XCM is equal to the 13.8 whole square by nothing but this is the rating of this bus by. So what is the capacity value here at the delivery? 5 ampere. 
simply. Simply. So now see this uh, the solution very simple solution we are not uh, confused this is very simple solution. So the maximum current that allowed to flow the system at attenuating frequency would be. So when you attenuate this uh, kappa filters, so what is this filter? It can filter the harmonics. So so one, but you you tune these filters, it will not filter the, okay? It will not stop the. Fundamental, fundamental frequency values. So that way you can design any of the filter. Filter just simply blocks the. So for suppose you, uh, so different types of filters is the low pass filter, high pass filter. We know that it simply blocks the the level of the harmonics. One thing that what is the main thing here? It cannot block the fundamental uh, values, fundamental frequency values. So, so in the in the problem, they can give in this uh, ISF value. What is that ISF value is? See this IFS value. I, ISF value is equal to the 5.5. We can uh, uh, we can remember this uh, this formulas. Okay, this value ISF value. See this. Okay, so we can also see this graph this way also this. So we can. Uh, This is R CM. I can also see the graph. This is the low inductive. You can see. So LM CA. So uh, this is the PCC. This is the harmonic current IT, IHR, IT. I, so this is the XS, X, SF. So I uh, can uh, consider that passing the current ISF. So ISF is the current. Now see this diagram. ISF is the current. So current value. Uh, so the, uh, that is the 5.5 value. Okay. In the in the problem also they can given that. Uh, so uh, so if, if it is in 5.5 uh, current value, so you can tune that current value. It can allow up to the 5.5. Okay. This space is the point. So so what percentage it can uh, 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 so nothing but the filters values so filters the harmonics 70 percent then whatever the remaining year so remaining is 0.3 pu or nothing but the 30 percent you know that if it is 100 percent you can calculate it so one percent is equal to the 10 okay so uh, so we can assume this one you can assume this one again this point you can assume this one short circuit reactance would be uh, excessive uh, would be you can assume uh, assume that one uh, one pu one. So from this equation, what is this this equation? From this equation, RF, okay, RF XCM XCM by HT, okay. Well, so we can calculate that one. We'll get the value is it? this one. R twenty nine point five. Okay, we can also calculate this XLM XCA values by using this formula. We'll get the values of uh, this one. Okay, so by using this formula, so we can calculate this one. Okay, so now see this. Values. So this way you can calculate in the some they can given in the examinations also by using this uh, formulas a simple formula we can uh, calculate the values. Okay. Next one. You can see this uh, filter again the filter. You can see this filter again this filter. So you can observe this graph. So you can uh, see this uh, the uh, the uh, the filter as nothing but uh, the waveform the, the waves that can harmo allowing the how much amount of harmonic currents it can uh, uh, allowed in uh, this excess values. Now see this. So this is an example of a C filter. Their maximum harmonic current allowed to flow the system. 
so 10% 30% and 50% at the june harmonics is a order of 5.5 remember this order is hd value you now see this now see this here here that, that value is 5.5 we can see this how much amount of uh, harmonic currents it can be allowed 10% or 30% by according to this formula you can allow how much is 30% harmonics is allowed into the system now see this uh, this is the one, uh, one of the other case for 5.5 order now see this 5.5 hd value order of the harmonic 5.5 so this 5.5 order so how much percentage so uh, which percentage uh, how much percentage of harmonics is going to uh, uh, i mean allow this one for you know see this uh, all the 5.5 Order so it can allow here in this case is only 50 percent, it can allow here 30 percent, it can allow here 10 percent. Now, see this three cases, but the order is same, but the amount uh, that will be allowed into the harmonic current is changes. So, why, why, why that is changes? Because now, see this because. So the system here that can that is ISF as a function of frequency for C filters with ISF is uh, 10 percent, 20 percent, and 30 percent, and so on. Okay. Now see this. Now see this. Uh, uh, now see this. Uh, so how to allow this one? How much? Uh, 0.3 percent, 50 percent, the year 30 percent, the year 10 percent. But the same order. We can we can remember one thing here. The twin uh, harmonic order is 5.5. But on this 5.5 only it can allow uh, this 50% uh, harmonics, 30% harmonics, and 0.1% harmonics. In this case, here you can see this, it can only uh, it can uh, allow the uh, it can block the 70%, remain 30% is allowed. But, but the same order, it can allow different cases. That is completely that depends upon the that same value. So now see this, you can observe this, the lower frequency, nothing but ISF is the smaller, nothing but the ISF value is smaller, you can see this, ISF value is smaller, so the damping of the filter would be less, the dampings, the damping value. So, for example, in this case, a C filter with ISF value HD is 0.1, now see this, 0.1. You see this is the damping value. You see this is the damping value when compared to the others. Because why this difference is because because the resistive component R has a large value that is entirely depends upon the so that value of 50 percent, 30 percent, and 1 percent is depend entirely depends upon this resistance. So at higher frequencies, at higher order frequencies, so you know that higher order harmonic frequencies. The amount of current that is flowing into the system is approximately identical in all the cases. So now see this point is important point here. This case and this case, this point is now see this the CM. You know the diagram CM. What is that CM value? So this. So this value, the CM value. You can see this CM value. So an attenuation, uh, attenuated uh, capacitance value CM. So it can uh, generate, uh, it can uh, see this, uh, the reactance dominates the overall filter influence, that CM value. For this reason, higher attenuation and higher uh, harmonic frequencies cannot be achieved by having a C filter with, uh, with lower ISF value. Instead of an additional filter would be required. What is the drawback of this C type of the filter? You know that every filter has some drawback. This is the drawback. This is the drawback also. This is the drawback. This is the drawback. For higher order, because of this uh, CM reactance value, whenever you are considered the higher order harmonics, so so we can attenuate the higher order. We are going to tune this uh, uh, CM per the higher order to filter the frequencies. So so but uh, but at the time it may fail to. Uh, filter the frequencies at the given uh, ISF values, ISF current values. The, uh, this is the one of the drawback uh, of this uh, C type of filter. 
so remember no device is uh, ideal so perfectly working for all the cases remember this point okay now see this uh, filters now see this for suppose this c type filter so this is the example of the c type filter so you can add this uh, notches some notch filter again you can add in parallel with this notch filter notch filter so what is the drawback of the c type filter so see, this is the drawback so this is the drawback of this C type. This is the drawback. This is the drawback. So to avoid this drawback, what they can uh, did here? They can, so this is the C type filter. The C type filter they can add the in parallel with the some notch filter. So now see this to configure C filter coupled with the notch filter to achieve the more attenuation at the higher frequencies so that is the drawback so for the higher frequencies the attenuation uh, of this uh, cm it will generate this some reactors it will it will, uh, uh, it will uh, dominate overall impedance of the system so when the cm value is increases you can you can uh, uh, increases to uh, eliminate the higher order harmonics it may causes the reactances in the system that may happen but impedances in the system well, now see this a uh, best example a system vs so inductance so so r equal to r plus uh, sorry z is equal to r plus zx or whatever it may you can add this c type filter here for suppose so because of this c type filter we can add so we can we can take the, the cm value is higher value it may cause us to change the impedance value now see this impedance value. See this impedance value. So nothing but that filter impedance value is also changes that may cause the more problem to the system. So to avoid that uh, uh, filter impedance values uh, to attenuation values, so you can use the in parallel with the some addition. There is some another drawback is also there. So there is some another drawback. What is the what is this drawback of this uh, notch type of the filter? Now see this. There are some resonance parallel resonance. So that uh, that is produced uh, produced produced by this notch filter. Notch filters can produce this some resonance in the system. Okay. So this notch type. So again, so this see this point. Notch filter is typically tuned higher than the C filters to avoid this resonance. So, but suppose if you tune the notch filters is below the C value, the size of the auxiliary capacitor would be significantly large. Now, see this because of the resonance issues. So, that will lead to the C filter is not working or impractical. If you change the values of the CA value, the size as well as the cost economical impact is uh, burden on the system, the efficiency of the filter is also increases. So, so to uh, what uh, why you are coming to this uh, notch filter to uh, improve the uh, filter impedances or to change the filter impedances that is a drawback in the C type filter to avoid that one you can use the notch filter but because of this notch filter it can also generate the some parallel resonance in the system parallel resonance in the system so at the same time so we can design this uh, notch filter more than the values of this uh, C type of the filters, capacitive filter. Nothing C type filter means here, this way C capacitor. That's why we can call it C type, uh, capacitive type of filter. C, simply they can call it as C type. So this is the waveform C here, a C type filter with, uh, uh, with and without uh, notches. With and without notches. This thick line, you can observe these thick lines. This is the C filter. This is the C filter. So this uh, thin line uh, will indicate the you know, see this, this thin line, a small line uh, will indicate the uh, some notch, notch. This this small line will indicate the here yeah, a small line will indicate now see this small line will indicate the notch. This type. So C plus notch filter. C plus notch filter. This is the way. 
okay now now okay, now we are coming to the uh, last one uh, active filters active filters uh, so these are very really, uh, advantages devices are uh, these are very uh, some uh, is nothing but these are very efficient devices when compared to the passive filters. So RLC filters, uh, passive elements, RLC filters. Instead of that RLC filters, active filters are uh, uh, more efficient. But the cost uh, that may comes under the cost, this active filters may, the cost is somewhat uh, heavier, uh, uh, somewhat more when compared to the this uh, passive filters. So, so what are these active filters? It can uh, develop or it can design by using the for electronic devices. For electronic devices. See this. This active filters is designed by using this for alternatives. Now see this for alternatives. One thing you should remember, because of so the reason behind production of the hormones is the for electronics. One of the reason this for electronics uh, is nothing but the non-sinusoidal, non-sinusoidal, or we can also call it as a non-linear loads, non-linear, non-linear loads. Okay, so by using these devices, we are going to eliminate the, uh, we are going to reduce the harmonics that is present in the system. Okay, so uh, now see these uh, active filters. So, so not only these uh, filters are used for the uh, production of the, uh, sorry, uh, reduction of the harmonics. These filters can also be used for uh, uh, reducing the uh, flicker problems as well as some uh, can improve the power quality problems and other. It's nothing but the some power factor improvement purpose that, that is also uh, we are using here. So, so now see this one of the example here, an active filter. This is the nonlinear load. This is the nonlinear load. I think a power electronic load. Nonlinear load. You can assume it as a power electronic. You can assume so not only the power electronics. Some other devices like uh, so arc furnaces devices, especially some induction motors, a less amount it can uh, generate the uh, inject the some harmonics into the system. But the most obvious problem is uh, and uh, power time devices because uh, the, uh, nowadays uh, the uh, most of the equipment above eighty percent of the equipment are the uh, electronic based equipment, power electronic based devices. So that's why we are considering the, uh, uh, so I can assume here in this case, uh, a non-linear load, a power electronic based load. Now I can draw this symbol that indicates the power electronic based non-linear load. So the idea is very simple. So whenever there is a, uh, uh, so can inject uh, some harmonics, currents into the system. So so this uh, this device, this is the device. Uh, this is the active filter. This is the active filter. Active filter by using this device, uh, so so we can modify the waveform. Nothing but we can convert to the sine wave. Now see this uh, uh, device characteristics. So this device can be uh, can be uh, designed into two types. Now see this. I can draw the graph here. I can draw the graph here. Can see this. So this device, uh, so this is the one type of the device we are going to connect the line. So this is the another power electronic based device. By using the capacity, capacity C. This is the device. This is a basic device. This may be of, uh, remember, uh, DVS, D stat comes, UPFCs, UPQCs, similar devices. Okay, so this uh, active filters. These are the some of the these are, these are also some of the active filters to eliminate the harmonic components. So this device you can uh, uh, design in uh, inductor. You can use the an inductor and connected in the inductor as well as the capacitor. Why 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 these two? So this inductor as well as capacitor it can, it can uh, uh, give the some uh, uh, energy or power to this uh, device filters. So this is nothing but a VSC. 
nothing but this is VSC and ISC. So, so CSC, sorry, CSC. VSC and VSC and VSC. Voltage source inverter or voltage source converter? Simply, voltage source inverter or VSA or current source uh, inverter. So, so this has DVR, DSTAC, um, UPFs, UPQs, has uh, simply a VSCs, voltage source inverter or voltage source converters. Power transit based. So, this is VSCs, a three phase as well as single phase VSCs, are three phase are, are uh, single phase current source inverters or converters. So why this uh, inductor or capacitor to, to give this some energy to this uh, uh, inverters? Do you know that what is VSC? VSC is, now see this, it, in, it, it has a VSC. So VSC, what, what it, it, it VSC is done? So it can convert uh, some DC to the AC or AC to the DC. VSCs, voltage source converters. Okay, so that's why uh, to give the some power a uh, source, Purpose we are using the an inductor or a capacitor. So most of the cases we are using this capacitor. Or they are charging, they are uh, discharging. Okay. Uh, so this uh, this uh, this is a wide uh, range of research subject nowadays for quality improvement. So by using this active purpose, this is wide range of research subject. Okay, so now uh, now now we can uh, uh, we can design the uh, this filters this VSCs in different ways. So so series DVR series connected devices again series connected uh, uh, active filters or shunt connected active filters. Nothing but this, uh, uh, this this is the DVR is the series connected. This D D state can be the shunt connected. UPFs UQs is the uh, uh, is the series plus shunt connected. Series as well as the shunt country, like the low pass broadband filter. Okay, different type of the devices are there. So, but uh, unfortunately, they are not given in our service. So you can see this. So, so uh, in uh, so for suppose how to design the filter? A very so I think uh, I mean this is very much helpful. Uh, so in our uh, syllabus, it is not given in the syllabus, but whenever you are going to uh, uh, do the some problems or uh, solve the some solutions to the problems, you must know this uh, designing of the filters, how to design a filter. So for suppose I, ha I have to draw this filter, second half filter. A filter. So how to, uh, how to calculate this RLC values? RLC values. How to calculate these values? How to design the R value? How to design the C value? How to design the L value? So, um, so for that purpose, you can you can take this some case study. In uh, nothing but one case study is taken. This is the case study. For example, consider the 480 volts bus system. So the loads uh, uh, for that uh, for this uh, 480 volts bus system, the load the amount of loads that are connected is, is the 200 kV loads. So it is a power factor of 0.75 lagging. So we can estimate that uh, the total R marks that is uh, produced in this uh, uh, line is 30% uh, of the fundamental currents. So, so what is the order of the currents here? Maximum, uh, so, so out of this 30%, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, this 25% uh, is the fixed order R mark. So for this system, now see this. Now see this, we cannot confuse this one. So this is the system. So 480 volt system. 480 volts, you can use the some transformer here. What is the transformer rating here? So 1500 kV transformer. Sorry, yeah, 1500 kV transformer we are using here. So, so for this, uh, we can, uh, you can connect the load of, uh, how much load? 1200. Uh, KVL load. load. So, how much uh, amount of hormones are injected? 30% are injected. Which one? Fifth, uh, fifth order harmonics. Nearly after this, 30%, 30%, 25% harmonics are the fifth order harmonics. So, this is the transformer impedance 6% transformer impedance is this. 
So the fifth is one point difference fundamental when there is no load. So no. So this is the case. This is the diagram. Yes. So now now we can. Uh, this is the case study problem. How to design the filter? How to design the filter for this case? They can given this case this diagram. So SOS is 480 volts. The transformer is this one. Then load that is connected with the transformer. So 1500 kV transformer. Their load is connected with 1200 kV load. Uh, then uh, then uh, it can this load can be injected 30% of the hormones to the system. So most of the hormones are uh, fifth order uh, order hormones. So how to uh, design this uh, parameters? That but R L C values. How to design this? One? Okay. These are the ten points. These are the ten points. So to design a filter, so select the tube frequency of the filter. So compute the capacitor bank size. So some filter reactor size. Then filter duty requirements. So then fundamental duty requirements. Then harmonic duty requirements. Then total RMS current. Uh, uh, peak value. Then RMS value of that uh, requirement. Uh, same time capacitor ratings. Then filter frequency ratings as well as filter parameters various. These are the ten points. You can uh, keep it, uh, it in mind to design a, any type of the filter. Okay. So by the next class, you can uh, solve this. You can see these ten points individually. Uh, so according to this formula, according to this uh, case study problem, according to this problem. So by using these ten points, how we are going to design a filter. So next class we are going to see. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you, thank you for joining today's class.